What's up my Pungios? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, guys, we're going to be going over a number of OtterBox cases. I've already done uh, videos for the Defender and the Figura series. You guys can uh, check those out up above in the cards. Today we're going to be going over the Commuter, which I think is the most eco-friendly, you know, budget style, uh, but also one that does definitely pack a punch. Apparently this uh, does provide you three times as many drop protection as the military grade, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I reviewed this case for the 13 Pro Max last year, and I'm looking to check out what it looks like this year. And so let's go ahead and jump into that. Before we do, this is not a sponsored video. I did purchase this with my own money. Down below, however, are links uh, for products here that are my affiliate links that do help out the channel. So if you do want to check those out, please consider it. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, check out the unboxing. Pretty straightforward here with the commuter. Uh, what's nice here is that it does have a very, very minimalist uh, unpacking you know, experience. I hate all these extra packaging materials because I, I do review a lot of cases. And I want to make sure here that uh, you know they're eco-friendly and whatnot. The case is pretty straightforward. That's it. I mean, that's all. That that's that's everything. So make sure and uh, recycle this. Right now, I'm sporting a case from the folks at Case Coup. Uh, this was provided to me from them. You can check down below. This is my go-to for basically a clear, crystal clear case. It comes with this pretty cool mag safe little ringlet that you can you can use as a stand. But I need something that will, when I'm out out and about running, when I'm uh, you know in my lifestyle, when I'm at work, I need something that will protect and provide me that little bit more of comfort. What's awesome about this here is that it's it's basically a, a dual share, shelled, yeah, like dual colored case that provides you polycarbonate and TPC material for protection. Uh, as you can see, I'm peeling it out of its core. It's got this rubbery, uh, almost silicone base that's very, very flimsy. But the idea behind this is the, the shock absorption. You can see um, built into it that this is manufactured here to have grip down there. It's supposed to catch pockets of air in here in these grooves because these are the high impact places. Um, the theory is that you know with the air kind of pressurization when it's pushed up against there that it provides an extra buffer. That's the idea or at least what they tout. It's got nice grooves and, and divots here to be able to grip the phone and uh, I like it. I think it's nice. Going on to the harder shell, this is the TPC. You can feel that it is definitely plasticky, but it's very, very rigid. Um, it grips the rubber, uh, but it also provides you that scratch resistance. It's definitely matte, so it's not going to be a fingerprint sponge. And you've also got this um, extra large, it's much larger than the typical uh, camera cutouts, but that's supposed to even out and disperse any kind of pressure when it falls on its face. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, place it in the uh, in the phone here. Pretty straightforward. <sighs> Looks like from the manufacturer that it's got still a little bit of uh, debris and whatnot from the manufacturing, uh, but it goes right into it. You can see it's got grip right here where the buttons are. You got your power button, which is rubber. On the other side, you got your volume rocker, and then you got a divot here for uh, your do not disturb, which is nice. Coming around the back side here, this is where the case is going to be connecting into the back side, as well as on these other areas here. But you can see it fits the iPhone just fine. It looks really good. I really like this extra grip here because this is definitely where you're holding it most. And especially when I'm running, I want to make sure I have full coverage there um, around my fingers. Uh, with that said here, the last piece to place it in is pretty straightforward. It's going to be just a series of clicks. Uh, you do need to make sure that you have this little flap. Uh, I probably did that wrong. Darn it. I did do that wrong. You're going to need to have this, uh, this lightning cable flap here go in first. Otherwise, you're going to deal with what I'm having to deal with now. And uh, I can't get that in there. Darn it. Be careful when you put it in there. There we go. You can see that it fits real nice and tight in between here, providing you that extra pr that cushion and that extra grip. It just looks really good. I like the two-tone. You have a myriad of different colors. You can get in peak, black, brown, orange, that good stuff. Uh, but this is an all-around sleek case. It's not going to break the bank. I think it's very affordable. It provides you, you know, that nice grippage. It's probably about an eighth of an inch thick. It's not as thick as the Defender, 
but it's certainly thicker than you know the other case but that's nice here in the event that it it, it bounces it drops you're going to protect your case and then lastly here the screen protector isn't impeded you can see it's uh, nice and tooled all the way around so that it doesn't impede on that screen protector which is really nice i i appreciate that other than that this is a this is a pretty stellar case i'm i'm really pleased i really like how this looks i think this is sleek the green is nice and friendly i think uh, anyone would definitely opt into this case with that said guys uh, we're gonna wrap it up here hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown and walkthrough of this case pretty straightforward a little tricky to take out i recommend if you're going to splitting the case in half make sure your phone's outside of it because it's meant you know it's meant to push up against all these different areas so that you maximize your protection with that said guys down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability i've really not seen anything to this magnitude at this price point um, so if you want to check that out definitely consider it also there'll be some links to the other products that we go over this is not magsafe compatible as you guys can see I've got a MagSafe uh, charging bank and it just sl slides off. So that's that's the one drawback. You're foregoing the Qi charging for the extra protection. However, that three times drop rate is pretty amazing. According to the wrap sheet here, this allows you to drop it, I believe, at eight feet. It's pretty amazing. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs. If you enjoyed this, subscribe, hit that like button. We'll catch you on the next one.